What is up, fiery food freaks? Today, I'm sharing a review of Badia Sriracha Chili Garlic Sauce. This one was recommended to me by Broho Sauce Co. on TikTok, and they've actually got their own line of hot sauces, so be sure to check them out. I'm always so grateful for recommendations, so if you have sriracha alternatives that you like or that you want me to try, drop the name in the comments. I've got a whole playlist of sriracha alternative reviews, so be sure to check that out if you're looking for something to swap for Hui Fong during this shortage. So this sauce is by Badia, which is a Colombian company. So we'll see how closely it follows sort of the traditional Southeast Asian recipe that sriracha is. This one uses cayenne chili peppers plus red habaneros, which is really interesting because like Hui Fang, for example, uses red jalapenos, and both cayenne and habaneros are significantly spicier than jalapenos. So I'm interested to see how this one compares in terms of heat level because it could be a whole lot spicier. It's also got sort of the typical vinegar, sugar, garlic, salt, which are all ingredients that you'd expect to find in sriracha. So let's give this a try. This one <laughs> looks sweeter if that makes any sense. It definitely smells a lot sharper in terms of heat. Somehow I can smell that habanero. I think this one is going to be a lot hotter than Hoi Fong sriracha, which I like spicy food. I like hot sauce, so that's not a problem for me. Well, we'll see if it's a problem just slurping it off a spoon. It might be a little hot without anything else. This one is a lot liquidier than Hui Fong. It's a lot less paste-like and saucier. This one tastes a lot different than Hui Fong Sriracha, so if you're looking for a one-to-one -one replacement, this might not be it. It is maybe like 10 or 20% spicier than Hui Fang Sriracha, so I honestly expected a little bit more heat out of it, but it's definitely a little bit hotter than Sriracha. Now this one I think is actually more heavy on the vinegar side and less on the sugar than Sriracha, which I kind of expected the opposite just based on looking at it and smelling it. To me, this one lacks a little bit of the roundness that the sweetness in sriracha provides. It's a lot sharper. So in terms of both similarity to sriracha and just how much I like it, I would give this one a 6 out of 10. You might like this one if you want a sriracha with a little bit more of a kick. It's a little bit spicier, but you're probably not going to like it as much if you like sort of the sweet and roundness of sriracha and you're looking for something less heavy on the vinegar side. That's all for today, folks. I've got a whole bunch more sriracha alternative reviews coming your way. So be sure to subscribe if you want to catch those when they drop. Plus, if you've got one that you've been really impressed with, drop the name in the comments because I am always looking for sriracha alternatives to try and to review.